Hey, hello, it's Sunday night, uh, which is kind of meaningless because it's actually Sunday morning for Bridget, who is in San Antonio, and I am here in Bremen, and we got lots of books for you. We've got our recent book, and our second book, and our first book, and my favorite book of all time, our, what do we call this? Our soft launch book? Prototype. Our prototype. <laughs> yeah, we prototyped this baby. So we got it. We did it. Our three idea books in a year, year ago. We did the three books. Yeah. Congratulations, three. partner. Congratulations. You did a good job. Divide and conquer, baby. Oh, and the yeah. time zones help. Because yeah. you're seven hours difference from me. So you would write, then I would write, then you would write, then I would write. And it was like. Cinderella yep. with the mice sewing oh, the yeah. better dress. Yep. Yep. That's what you got to do. You got to keep working. You gotta basically go to work 24 hours a day. Well, it also Three helps a from day. a psychological standpoint to work yeah. with another writer because yeah. it's easy to start a book project by yourself and be like, who cares? Nobody cares. Mm. But we are writers and we write because we must write. We must we write because we, we cannot not. We cannot write. not. We cannot not. It's everything that we believe. It's it's SEO. It's content marketing. It's social media. It's uh, it's sales. Yeah. You know. It's and SEO. It's too. passion. It's well, uh, um, paper. John, John Kim, uh, more widely known as the uh, angry therapist, just okay. did a post today on LinkedIn or somewhere. And said that he had a goal of writing six books so that he would have a legacy. And he's this almost year? no in general. Oh, okay. And so um, he's the author of um, like something about I once was a miserable fuck or something like that. I didn't. Wow, that's it. a great title for a book. I get his text <laughs> for five dollars a month. But anyway, uh, I was like, he goes, now I really feel like it's a passion. I'm like, John, we write because we must write because we are writers. Yeah. yeah yeah that's a great i that's a he should use that title i was looking for wine in my seo class last week and i just threw it up and said so what's the first thing that catches your eyes you know and and right there in the shopping and the product ad was a bottle of wine says fucking good wine you yeah. know it's like well this is what i'm clicking on you know forget everything else on google forget all the handcrafted seo you got me because you called your product something inappropriate. And I'm seeing that. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's yeah. some of us who don't give a F-U-C-K. So there you go. Uh, you know, and the thing is that um, I'm not G-rated. So whatever. No. But these books are. These books are all G-rated, which is really good because they're for schools, they're for nonprofits and for small businesses. Yeah. Even if you were an R-rated small business um, or possibly a school that deals in adult learning techniques um, or other, I can't even think of a, of an X-rated nonprofit, but there could be one. Um, it's okay. Cause you're still going to need help. Well, and right. Great. I, yeah. There's a place <laughs> uh, near me called the sexology Institute. And Is they there? Teach about, yeah. They teach about, they have classes for sex health and, and things like that get our book over there i know right i should just give them one oh, they're, so, you should. they're great yeah. people i should yeah. take a class but i'm frankly too embarrassed oh you, well you could just like you're it's you're not taking it because you need to learn you're going there as a ringer oh you know i get students like that like in my sea class and you discover they're actually google partners doing google ads and i don't even know why they're there but as soon as you find that out you're like oh great so, you know, why, why are you here? Because <laughs> they want the easy A. So, yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the book. And what I want to say let's about do that. it is uh, the purpose of this book is if you need to market your school, preschool, yes. Montessori school, university, Christian school, private school, sexology institute school, tech school, whatever, this is a overall guide into what you need to know to market. Now you can read this, use it as a reference guide yeah. and run with the, the techniques and the plans we have in here. Yeah. But also 
For example, if you are looking to hire someone to develop your website, mm. then we would recommend that you read chapter five. You have a website, right? Yeah. As well as chapter nine, landing pages 101, mm. as well as um, chapter eight. Chapter eight, accessibility, accessibility. Is accessibility. Yeah. especially for schools, because if your oh, website yeah. is not accessible and you receive government money, at least in the United States, yeah. you're going to get in trouble. OK, yeah. so this is a way to give you a quick overview. Now, you don't have to buy the physical book. You can buy the Kindle book and just read yeah. those chapters yeah. and then have a better understanding on what needs to exist in that bid that you're getting yeah. from a vendor who will yeah. build your website or for that vendor who will be doing your email marketing chapter 12 or who will be managing your social media chapter 10. Mm -hmm. uh, when you do get that Google ad partner chapter 11 and then uh, reading 10, 11 and 12 together so that all of your marketing that's customer facing ads email marketing and social media are cohesive even yep. if they are three separate vendors yeah no it's a good point um i mean that's why we that's why we wrote um like all three of them you because know it's for different purposes yeah it's it's you know i mean someone said oh you know is everything you need to know in there it's like well that's not the purpose the purpose is and i mean this is why we came up with it because both of us have school, nonprofit, and small business clients. And they come to us and they have lots of questions. So they, you know, they, they pay, you know, $1,500, $3,000 to listen to us and to have us help them, you know? And well, the book you can get for 20 bucks. Right. So it's really helping. It's, you know, the books are meant as like that first guy. It's like, buy the book understand a bit more about the questions you had and then when you go to your vendor or your agency or you hire a freelancer you will save time because you know more about what you're talking about and then when they try to sell you something you already have the idea wait a second i read in this book that i need this and that tell me about this and that so in the long term, you know, you're educating yourself, you're going to save yourself time, which is money, you're going to save yourself money, which is money. Um, and, you know, that was really our uh, was really, you know, you know, for for us, the, the whole idea. And I think it's I think it's pretty successful. Um, and uh, yeah, I, and yeah. and you'll save yourself frustration. Yeah, for sure. Of having uh, developers or marketers talk down to you. Yeah. Uh, instead of instead of engaging with you as a peer. Yeah, yeah. I can. Because I you can, and I, yeah. as teachers, we approach our marketing consulting more as teachers. We yeah. approach it as a peer to peer relationship, whereas yeah. a lot of marketers are like, "Oh my God, this client didn't know what a KPI was. What the yeah. hell are they even trying to do marketing?" That's yeah. That's just them being elitist. Whereas yeah. we think this is achievable for everyone. Why not just shed some light yeah. as teachers? Yeah. yeah. We wrote it. It makes it more fun for everyone. You know, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, you know, I, none of us can, can have someone hold their hand for the next, you know, five years, you know, it's like, they got to come in, you've got to help them. You've got to let them go. You know, you don't want any of your kids living at home when they're 30. You know, you do, give them the information that. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and get them out of the house. And it's the same as with the clients, you know, and um, uh, one thing I wanted to mention as well, because this is different in the in the two books that we did, like in the, the first book. I mean, OK, this was the first one out of the gate. So we were also learning. Um, and then what we learned, well, we already knew this, but we didn't activate this um, because in the second book, we got Adrian Toby to come in and do a chapter about marketing automation, which is something that he knows about. So we're able to bring then extra information. And in the third one, then we had Anamika Beauvalet do the same thing for accessibility because, you know, get the professional. And that's something I wish we had done for the first book. You know, we didn't even really think about that. 
Um, but it would have been great. So maybe for the fourth book, um, we'll do that. But I well, think we can always also... do a second edition. But the cool yeah. thing is, it's an international, yeah. it's an international uh, yeah. effort. So I'm American. You're uh, British, living in Germany. Yeah, uh, and Amika is Canadian. all over Europe. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and Adrian Amika is, is Dutch, and she primarily lives in Germany, but also is a she's in Italy and uh, Belgium. Oh, she's a European citizen, yeah. right? But yeah. she's a Dutchie. So you have a Dutchie, a Canadian, a Brit, a Brit, and an American contributing in all these books, and we there quote other people. So we're oh, not yeah. like we're the source. No, Instead, lots we of know quotes. from all of our teaching and consulting, and most importantly, Warren, we are practitioners. We are. We're not just saying we're not the teachers that don't do. We do this. This is what we do. Yeah. And yeah, as we is, do this, yeah. interacting with our clients that we don't consult, they just trust us to get this stuff done. Yeah. We know this is what people need to understand. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, it's such a great combination of skills. Now I will say we did, we did defer to UK English. So of course, no, no, we did American English in these books. Mm. Didn't, I'm really sure we did. I did. Nope. nope. No customize I S E. Yeah, because I had to fix all of my utilized, customized. That's interesting favorite, because when uh, I was doing when I was doing when I was doing my chapters, I had my grammarly double checking for American English. <laughs> I fixed them all in the UK. <laughs> Why? Oh no. Because that we have to explain, have consistency. That might explain when um, when I got it back and I'm looking at it, why there were so many grammarly or something. There weren't that many last time I looked at this. Where did all these yeah. new ones come from? UK oh my goodness, English. that's so funny. Really? Oh wow. So well, in in yeah. this in this book about schools, mm -hmm. we talk about who your customers are yeah. and what your product is. This is the chapter one, is my favorite. It's a chapter mm -hmm. that we kind of introduced in the nonprofit book because schools and nonprofits often don't believe that they're a business and you are. Yeah. So we have chapter one, your school is a business, your product is learning, your customers are your students and your fans are your alumni. And mm -hmm. so we talk about the alumni and the, their parents and the fact that schools have this um, kind of different uh, customer journey because once you've been to a university you know you're always or a school you're always loyal to that school and yeah. people we even have examples of how people are using on instagram taking mm -hmm. pictures of themselves in their university colors and things like that so and that you can um also kind of stir that stir that up in, with that nostalgia right so like, yeah. I'm always going to be San Diego State, go Aztecs. I was also at Fresno State, go Bulldogs, right? So like, even though that was 30 years ago, I still have a loyalty to that school. Oh, yeah, I for sure. I went to Arizona State University. So I still yeah. have a loyalty to that school. Yeah. And that loyalty, it, brand loyalty is unheard of with other yeah, there's Apple fans, but once they don't have money, like if this machine breaks, I have yeah. to get a Chromebook. It's just, I'm sorry, but yeah, I don't have $1,800 to replace this machine right now. I mean, all three, you know, I mean, probably, you know, for the, for the largest portion of our lives, schools, you know, we talk about this in the book as well. Schools affect us. We are in schools for at at least 20 years of our lives. Yeah. And it could be that we're in them longer. We go to university, we do adult training, adult education. We might ourselves right. be teachers. Um, if we live in a university town, we will probably end up working at the university. So schools probably like no other, except for church when it comes to nonprofit, um, you know, they affect us more than, you know, probably more than any other kind of business. Um, and, you know, 
and there are so many connections as well between a school, local small businesses, and nonprofits. Yeah. Um, which you you sort of see this triangle. Um, you know, which is another reason you know that I really like you know uh, this you know holy trinity of 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 marketing. You know, because you don't you know it they are, they're all connected. And yeah. um, we don't even think about them in the same way as maybe we think of Apple or things like this. When things go wrong, you know, we don't think that, you know, any of these people are, you know, stealing our data or trying to destroy the environment or any of the other things. So they're the safe, normal part of our lives that we often don't even think about. And, well, and that's you know, why the marketing I mean, is so important. I live by the Alamo Dome. OK, so UTSA, the University of Texas, at San Antonio Roadrunners mm. play football there. Yeah. So every time there's that game, it's like hashtag birds up. The streets are all blocked off to my neighborhood. You yeah. see streams of people wearing orange and blue. Oh, yeah. It's, sports it's, for sure. I mean, that's another thing that universities and, and high schools have. Yeah, yeah. You know, they have that loyalty with sports. Yeah. Where the, that extension of the brand, mm. right? That extension of the brand is still going yeah. on. And you want those alumni. For you sure. Know, oh, yeah, definitely. Or bands or anything like that. Oh, yeah. You know? um, it can be a lifetime connection. Um, I would say it is. It is, I mean, more or less, depending on where you are. Um, some places really are, like the last place I went to a university, like the town was built because of the university and mm -hmm. everyone's lives. If the university wasn't there, there would be no town. Yeah, Stanford um, is its own zip code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not you part know, of it's, Palo Alto. Nope, nope. Right, and, 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 and if I went to USC, then my yeah. son's gonna go to USC and his mm -hmm. son's gonna go to USC. Yeah. Yeah. But you also get this even with like just, you know, primary schools, oh, for you sure. know, that have been there, you know, for, you know, 150 or, you know, even if you're if you're talking in Europe, like the little primary school down the end here is is 200 years it's been there. Yeah. yeah. It's just a, it's just a primary school. It's all it does. And primary school here is only to grade four. Yeah. All right. Um, and then you've got, you know, you, of course, you've got your religious schools and you've got your private schools and you've ballet got your school. education, ballet schools, special needs schools or special interest schools. Um, so and that touches us all over the place. And then there's those connections and stuff. So, yeah, I like it. I like it better than, you know, I like this level of um, of, of 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 marketing a lot better than, you know, marketing for Lufthansa or Google because the connection is better. It's something real. That's very yes. emotional. And yes, I've done advertising for Google and Lufthansa. And yes, I prefer doing it for, you know, the local church. It's just, there's a connection and we all have yeah. that connection. So it's a lot more, you know, that tactile connection, which we can talk about next week in our next uh, video. Yeah. So what get out there and buy up? your books. What projects, projects coming up for you? Oh my goodness. Another now book. that we're done with this, what are you going to yeah. do? Yeah. Um, well, with your free time. <laughs> I have no free time. Oh my goodness. I have so much to do. Um, but I am doing um, a new edition of the Digital Thinking, uh, which came out in 2020. So the new version will come out in 2022. There's two new, there's two more years of information. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah. How about you? You were talking I'm about going, a new book project. Yes. I'm going to be writing a book with Dr. Sean Washington about Ooh, nice. um, women in the workplace. All right. You have some experience. Uh, I do. There. I've been working you for do. 35 years. And you're a woman. Don't. I yeah. identify as a woman. Yes. You identify as a woman. That's good. That's good. All right. I should do a book about men in the workplace. This is really an area that's not talked about enough. It's not. It's not. I should maybe do that. Yeah. Why not? Ageism is fucking ridiculous. It is. It's out it of is. control. It is. It is. I, mean, we, but I can't even fully retire. I can retire at 67. I just got mm -hmm. my report, but okay. I can get more if I retire at 72. But if I yeah. live as long as my grandmother, 101, 
that's another 30 years. What am I supposed mm. to do? Just sit around watching Wheel of Fortune? I don't think so. No, um, even if no, I had no. enough money to fully yeah. retire and live off of that, mm. uh, out my retirement and my social security, I'm still going to want to work. You could write some more books. Yeah, that would be work. Right. I go. wanted to keep my Gotta brain do it. interested. In fact, uh, keeping uh, your brain learning, as long as you learn, your brain is working and making those connections that allow you to learn more. Yeah. And that staves off dementia and Alzheimer's. It does. It does. Reading, cooking, walking, working, doing things will, um, it'll, it'll help you stay alive. Yeah. I want to work until 90 and I'll be like my grandma. Okay. Now I'm old. And then wow. I'll learn a different hobby, like maybe crochet. Or that long bowling stuff or something. Oh, yeah, that sounds fun. Do that. All right. Well, you have a good day in uh, Texas. And uh, we're going to have a stormy night here in Bremen. Awesome. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Ciao.